I've been using Sublime Text to write my tech documents for a number of years now. And although Sublime Text is much nicer to use than TechShop or some of the other fairly simple text editors, which come paired with LaTeX, I've been curious to check out Vim for a few reasons. To begin with, Sublime Text is an IDE, which like VS Code or Atom, is a fairly sophisticated program with a lot of functionality and features for programming in just a wide array of different programming languages. And for writing LaTeX documents, I'm not gonna need most of that functionality. By contrast, Vim is an extremely lightweight program, comes pre-installed on any Mac anyways, and it's highly customizable, and you can really adapt Vim to suit your exact needs. As a result, Vim is an extremely fast and responsive program to use. However, I'm not just attracted to using Vim for its speed, but rather its multimodal functionality. So in contrast to Sublime Text or TechShop or Microsoft Word, where navigation is primarily achieved by using the mouse to scroll around and to click into the document, Vim allows you to navigate and edit the document while leaving your fingers on the keyboard in the home row most of the time. It does take quite a bit of work to learn how to use Vim, but I respect the potential increase in efficiency and overall productivity which learning to master Vim can provide. I should say that Sublime Text as well as VS Code and Emacs and perhaps others do include a Vim mode which has many of the same key bindings and so can kind of simulate the Vim experience of editing the document while mostly just using the keyboard. Installing one of these fairly heavyweight programs to simulate a very lightweight, fast program doesn't make very much sense to me. It would be much better to just install the lightweight program, which has been customized to my exact needs for writing LaTeX documents. In this video series, I'm going to provide an overview of many of the plugins, which provide an IDE-like experience, but really customized only for writing LaTeX. I should say that it's taken quite a bit of work to cobble together these resources, partly because there's just so much out there, most of which has been designed not with my own needs in mind, but rather the needs of software developers for programming in various languages. In the description down below, I'll include links to my GitHub repository, which includes all of the configuration files, along with extensive installation instructions for reproducing the setup which I have on this computer. I'll also include links to many of the other YouTube channels and resources which I found to be extremely helpful in putting this configuration together for myself. In the following videos in this series, I'll provide a detailed tour through some of the plugins which I find to be most useful in writing and editing LaTeX documents. I won't go through all of the different commands which are included in Vim. For that, I can refer you to some of the other resources online for learning Vim, at least some of the basics.